Hello, my name is Dr. Gerald Chodak. In this video, I want to discuss with you a little bit about other things you can do in the event that you're diagnosed with prostate cancer, general health things, I call them. And the two that come to mind first are diet and exercise. And you will find often that there are clinics out there that will say, you need to be on this diet, you need to take these vitamins and supplements, uh, but you need to understand that at the present time, we don't have the kind of information that would allow us to make very clear recommendations that this ought to be in your diet and this ought not be in your diet. We do have some information that we've gathered suggesting that things like red meat and fried foods might not be good for you and fresh fruits and fresh vegetables are good for you. Well, those are general guidelines from any good nutritionist about what you can do to maximize your general health. We like to say that you should have between five and 10 portions of fresh fruit and fresh vegetables each day. Eat a balanced diet, make sure you have fish, stay away from meat to an extensive part, try to avoid fatty foods. And so those are general guidelines. At the very least, you're probably going to feel better if you're eating better. The same thing is true for those people who incorporate exercise into their general behavior. Exercise has lots of health benefits, but does it treat your prostate cancer? Does it prevent prostate cancer? We have no ability to say yes or no in answering those questions. We generally say it's a good thing for you to do because it may improve your immune system, and the better your immune system, theoretically, the better you'll be able to fight against your cancer and resist getting certain side effects from the treatments that we have available. So it's hard to make very clear recommendations in this area. And I would caution you against reading into too much those places, whether it's on websites or health clinics, promoting these things as you've got to do it. And that's particularly true in the case of vitamins and supplements. We have absolutely no proof to date that any vitamins or supplements will be good for you if you have prostate cancer. In fact, the recent study that was done, sponsored by the government, tried to prevent prostate cancer using vitamin E and selenium, and the results did not show any benefit. So do they work for you if you have prostate cancer? We have no evidence for that. We do know that the general public likes to take supplements, but scientifically, I can't tell you for sure it's a good thing to do or not. If you want to rely on good science to help guide you at the present time, it's probably in your best health interest to eat a healthy diet. But whether or not taking vitamins and supplements will be good for you remains unknown. Hopefully this information will be useful, you, useful to you as you're working through the management of your disease. Thank you.